Hello and welcome to another Rudridge tutorial video. Today I'm joined by Paul Duke, General Manager at Rudridge. Paul, what are we looking at today? Today, Tony, we're going to be looking at recessed infill tray covers. This particular cover is a double seal and locking. What we've done here is we've removed the locking screws. Take them out. You would normally do that with a screwdriver on site. Now we're using thin rim lifting keys. Now you position the key by placing it through the screw hole and so. Normally, when on site and when this is filled, it'll be a two-man lift. What makes this a double seal is it has a polyethylene seal positioned in the seal tray. Once that's screwed and locked in place, that acts as a double seal. A double seal is designed to stop the egress of odours. Why is it a double seal and not a single seal? Due to building regulations, a double seal must be used in confined spaces. When fitted, this cover will be airtight under normal atmospheric conditions. However, it would not be watertight. You would need a special cover manufactured if you wanted a watertight situation. How is this cover measured? This particular cover is, me is a 600 450. It's measured between the internal edge of the frame. This is the same as what we've seen in previous videos. So 600 by 450. On the cover on this one, this is designed to take a floor screed and allow for 15 mil of a floor finish, i.e. a floor tile uh, or vinyl floor covering. You mentioned earlier that these are used inside, but I can honestly say I've never seen one. Reason for that, Tony, is they're designed to be discreet. This particular one has a galvanised show edge. They can be produced with different types of material as a show edge to blend in with a variety of different floor finishes. This cover will be installed in the same principle as we've seen in previous videos. The frame will be bedded square to the chamber on a sand cement mortar. Once cured, you would then position the cover directly into the frame. The cover, however, will be filled up to the required levels with a C25 industry standard concrete mix. It would then have the floor finish applied to it, which would match the surrounding areas. We would then position the cover onto the frame and screw it down onto the seal. Finally, this cover is tested to a 10 tonne gross laden vehicle weight. That is the weight of anything that's being trafficked over the top of the cover. Thanks Paul. For more information on the steel product range and any other groundwork and civil engineering materials, please visit the Rudridge website on www.rudridge.co.uk.